So we've seen a mistaken way to count two pairs in a poker hand, but let's now look at the proper way to do it. So to count the number of two pair poker hands, let's begin by choosing the set of two ranks for the pairs. And then let's choose the suits for the uh, two cards in the smaller rank, and then the suits for the two cards in the larger rank, and finally, just tell me what the fifth card is. All right, so let's do an example. Um, here's a code for a two pair hand, and what it means is that there's ranks nine and four, um, and we can see that the smaller rank four has the, the suits of diamonds and hearts and the larger rank nine has the suits of diamonds and spades. And finally, there's the three of clubs to fill out the five card hand. Now, if you give me a two card hand, um, such as this one uh, the, that we just saw, um, there's a unique set of, there's a unique code that I can extract from the hand. Namely, there are a unique pair of ranks that make up the two pairs, namely the four and the nine. And there are the suits for the small pair, the diamond and the, uh, and the heart, and the suits for the large pair, the diamond and the spades, and finally the fifth card. So the point here is that given the, the two pair hand, I can go backward to the representation uh, uh, of the hand that we've chosen. And what this shows is that the mapping from these uh, the, these quadruples, namely the 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 set of pair uh, pairs of ranks, the set of two elements of ranks, and the set of two elements of suits, and the set of two elements of suits, and the remaining card, that uh, quadruple maps to a two pair hand, and it's a bijection because we've just shown that um, how to go from the tuples to the pair hands, and also given any hand, I can get back to the tuple that will generate it. So we got a bijection. Bijection means we know how to count. So now if I want to count the number of two pair poker hands properly, I can say, how many ways are there to choose the two ranks for the pairs? Well, uh, choose two out of the 13 ranks. How many ways are there to choose suits for the smaller rank? Well, two suits out of four. For the larger rank, two suits out of four. And for the last card, 52 minus 8, or 44 choices. Minus 8, because remember, we cannot choose uh, any more cards of the ranks equal to the two pairs that we've selected. So that rules out the four that we've used and the four that we haven't used for a total of eight, leaving 44 choices for the last card. So that means that if I want to count the number of two pair hands, I multiply uh, the number of rank, uh, of two sets of ranks, and then times the number of uh, two sets of suits, uh, twice, one for each rank, times the number of remaining cards, or 13 choose 2, times 4 choose 2, times 4 choose 2, times 44. And you can, can, check, can check, as I did, as a matter of fact, as a double check for bugs, that uh, this formula evaluates to the same number uh, as the previous corrected mistaken count.